Ukraine, and many other Eastern Orthodox countries follow the old Julian calendar when it comes to holidays. This makes Christian celebrations fall about two weeks later than when they are celebrated on the Gregorian calendar by North Americans. For cultures following the old calendar, Easter is still a month away. For Ukrainians, the most common and popular tradition is decorating Easter eggs called pisenke. During ancient times, uh, people started it and they don't really know exactly uh, what they were like because you know eggs are very fragile so they haven't really archaeologically they haven't really found any uh, full they did actually in 2008 I believe find one that was crushed that they're now trying to put together to see exactly the origin of the pisanka for the Ukrainians. Many who practice the art of making pisanka don't waste any time getting to work. Some start decorating eggs as early as Christmas but for the most part, piss and car made during Lent. Crafting the egg takes time, skill, patience, and artistry. It begins by choosing a pattern from a book or creating your own design and tracing it onto a raw egg. Next, beeswax is melted in a kistka over a candle and written onto the egg. The wax covers the part of the pattern that needs to remain the current color of the egg. After the lines are drawn, the egg goes into the dye. The process of dyeing happens in order of lightest to darkest colors, yellow being the lightest, followed by orange, green, blue, red, then black, depending on your design. Though some modern pisanke also use pink, purple, and turquoise. When the egg is finished being written on and dyed, the wax is melted off with a candle to reveal all the layers of color and the final product. There are hundreds of possibilities for designs. Some of the most common images include the cross, flowers, and animals, which reflect the Ukrainian culture and are often repeated. I like to do wheat. Um, wheat is a big uh, Ukrainian symbol because there are lots of wheat fields in Ukraine and that's our major like, product. Taught by her mother and grandmother, Adriana Waro has been making pesinka for 18 years and has done over 40 eggs. Now she spends her time teaching children how to make them. Just with technology these days, it's nice to have the art aspect and um, traditions just are a staple, I think. It should be a staple in everyone's life, just something to have to pass down to your children and your pa pass down children's children just keeps it alive. For 10-year-old Kyla Hatrushko, this is her first and certainly not last time making a pesinka. I chose the pattern because it was for Easter and I chose the flowers because today we were, ha we were having the nice weather so I thought flowers would be a good idea. Look at that, you're good. She quickly discovered how much work it is to be able to keep up the Ukrainian tradition. It was fun, kind of hard at the beginning. <laughs> get your hands steady and get it in the right position. Piss and kit are typically given as gifts to friends, family, and neighbors or are kept by the artist for decoration around the house. Pisanka can be made on different sizes and types of eggs, like the common chicken egg or special goose eggs. Canadian Ukrainians have been practicing the art of pisanka making for years, but that hasn't always been the case for those living in Ukraine. The Ukrainians brought that tradition here to, to North America and South America, and because it's sort of religious-based, um, they couldn't do it in, in Ukraine for, for many years because the Russian regime didn't allow them to, and now it's being revived again after 1991 when Ukraine became free again. Making pesenka is Ukrainian tradition that has been passed on from generation to generation and is sure to continue for many years to come. Clint Harris, Guelph Humber News.